We are at the beautiful Bonnie Doon Golf Club and uh, we today want to talk to you about the difference between shallow bunkers and deep bunkers. We had a great question come in just about that so we're going to cover that for you today, talk some, about some of the basics as well and um, we'll get straight into it, aren't we Dee? Annie, here we are. We're going to use the same technique to get out of a deep bunker and also to get out of a shallower bunker. So the best way to do that is with the same technique as I just said, but we're just going to change the loft. So when we want to get out of a, a deeper bunker, we're going to have a more lofted club like my 60 or 58. And it's going to have some bounce on it as well, which is this thing here. And then if I want a shallower bunker, same technique, but I'm going, sorry to take your club, I'm going to take a 51 which had 51 degrees of loft has less loft so it won't go as high. You normally wouldn't use a 51 in the bunker though that's more like a, a sort of a gap wedge loft isn't it so maybe like a 54 or a 56 is your usual sort of standard sand wedge. I use 51. Yeah, the average golfer is not going to have enough loft. That's out. very very true the average golfer is not going to have enough yeah, loft. So yeah. you, you normally your 54 to 56 is your average sand wedge which yeah. you could use pretty much anywhere but if you've got an extra one like the 60 or the 58 use it for the higher lips. Yep. But Dick should we should explain why you don't do something different on a flat bunker than you do on a high lipped bunker shouldn't we? We should explain that because that was the main question. What do I do differently when some Sometimes I've got a high one and sometimes I've got a flat one. Yes, and I think the reason for that, Annie, unless you're doing lots and lots and lots of practice and you've got all these variety of shots, then you could try different things. But, you know, let's just get out of the bunker. It's a hazard. Let's use the same technique, change our club to suit the situation. Yeah, yeah. Not, Mate, not, that just makes life easy. Mate, let's, we want consistency. Let's have the same swing, same technique, change the club. That's it. And, and sand wedges have lofts. It's very hard to actually play a low. If you play the technique correctly, you splash the sand and follow through and you've got a bit of power it's very hard to play it low actually it's really yep. going to come out high so exactly um, just simple just yep. simple we're not going to go into great detail here just simple get you out yep. it's a hazard let's get out of this exactly, hazard exactly so what are our basic sort of that we need to know d to get us out of a bunker <laughs> what's our setup our setup the one thing i always like to do annie is it sounds negative, but never close the club face. Square to slightly open. Yeah. Not not massively open. Mm. How do you feel about same, that? Same, exactly. Do, do you the club yeah. sort of heading to the target, or you can lay a little bit open a little if you bit. feel comfortable? Yeah, not a lot. And do you like to have a wider stance? Because mm. I... I like a wider stance. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Slightly wide. Yeah. Slightly wide. And Give yourself a good solid base. Yeah, good solid base. Play it forward of centre, yep. not, not yep. back of centre. That's right. And so give you height on the shot. Yeah. And I like, Annie, just to turn my left foot out yep. a little bit. And why do we do that, Dee? That's just going to help me get more bounce and slightly cut across it without feeling yep. I'm doing anything really it's weird. It's also going to help you. Turn yeah, get through the ball shot. so you, yep. you don't get stuck behind. So. And I like to bend my knees more than any other shot. You're a very good student here. <laughs> No, you could end up being a very good player. I'm just doing everything. <laughs> so yeah, so my knees are just bending yep. down the yeah down the grip. Keep them bent, and now all I'm going to do, I think this is a great little trick. Uh, you're not allowed to draw in the sand, yeah, by the way. Right. You're not allowed to draw in the sand. But yeah. I like to just hover my club behind that spot yeah. and stay watching that yes. spot. I don't want to hit the ball. That's right. We're not aiming to hit the ball at all. We're aiming to hit an inch or two before yep. the ball and yep. splash the sand yep. only. So um, that's a crucial thing to yeah. know with a bunker. You're not trying to hit the ball. No, absolutely. And you want a nice smooth swing. I don't think we need to get into too much technique here. Not really. I think it's really simple to say, let's swing back to shoulder height. Yes. Smooth and accelerating right. through to shoulder and height. And don't be afraid to be quite positive. The sand is heavy. Yep. We need a bit of power, particularly the ladies, to get yep. right through. The and you need to have the club sort of rippling through the sand. You don't want this, no, ooh, this digging want action. Dig. Hope we got that, that digging action. <laughs> And so, the follow through, I think, is one of the most important parts of the bunker swing. A lot of people are so worried about the ball flying over the back, aren't they? That they know they need a good swing, they worry about the long one, they get here and they stop, yep. and then of course the ball doesn't come out. Exactly. So accelerating through, following Excellent through, through. Yep. you can even get your back heel up off the ground what? like a normal shot. Yep. All Stay, right. but Should all keep those knees flexed. You're looking great, good student. <laughs> yep. Foot turned out. Aiming for our point before yep. the ball. Nice, good, solid swing. Beautiful. Did you? Whoa, she hit the flag stick. You should be on tour. That shows what a good coach I am. <laughs> but did you 
hear that sound? That sound was superb. That's getting that bounce. Must be a good coach, Dan. Must be a good player, Annie. So what will we do differently now with our flat one? Let's let's turn around and play a flat one out this way. Um, and we'll change our club. We'll change our club to a less lofted. Less lofted club. But we're going to do nothing differently. And we're going to do nothing differently. And we may see that... Um, We'll show you this angle that we're coming out of. The ball will just come out a little lower. So what we're going to do is, you had the 60, now we're going to give you a less lofted sandwich. Yes. So it'll just come, you're going to do exactly the same thing because you were yeah. so good, you hit the flagstick last time. So you're going to do exactly the same thing and it'll just come out a little lower. A little lower. Yeah, yeah but you run a little bit. Yeah, more. you don't need to change your technique because if you right. change the technique, it cre creates a little bit of anxiety. Exactly, so we're going to aim to Hit the sand before the ball, get into our nice setup position with our toe pointed out. Yep. We're going to bend, bend our the knees, knees nice watch behind, stance. and smoothly back. That's it. And don't even look at the ball. No. Bend shoulder, back, back to shoulder height, smooth. Very, very nice. <laughs> it went a little bit further. Went a little bit further, but yep. that's okay. But you still got out. With a, yes, with a less lofted club. So, um, it is, as you say, better to just get out and be out, particularly if you're a higher handicapper. Yep. yep, absolutely. You know, you were saying earlier, sometimes people say, what if the pin's really close? Yeah, if you've got like a short shot and the pin's close and no lip. Yep. It's like people get nervous because they think, oh, I've only just got to get it there. But again, we've got to play it the same way, haven't we? Just get out, ha get yourself within the two putt range, yep. two putt, walk off. Yep. And if you get closer, good, one putt. Exactly. And but and don't be, get cute. Don't get cute. Don't and get be cute. Be positive, even on the little short ones. Don't be afraid to give it a little bit of positivity. Yeah. Because you do need the power to get through the heavy yeah, sand. Nice and smooth. And yeah. remember, we're just ri letting the club ripple through. That's so right. same setup. Change the club. Yeah. Stay confident. Smooth. Yeah. Shoulder to shoulder. That's it. Get out. Two putts. That's it. Exactly. Or one. So treat your deep bunkers and your flat bunkers the same. Change your club up if you want to. That'd be the only thing we would say. So this is Pro Golf Gals at Bonnie Doon Golf Club. Subscribe if you love this video. Yeah, and you won't miss any new ones that way. Bye for now. Bye. Are we going to say, um, here we are, I think we should say, here we are at Bonnie Doon Golf Club. Yeah. Uh, Pro Golf Girl. Pro Golf Girls are now at, uh, Pro, Golf Girl, Pro Golf Girls are at Bonnie Doon Golf Club today. Yeah. Uh, about to get, we're going to give you a tip yeah. on how to get out of shallow and deep bunkers. Yeah, yeah. and we'll say if you haven't subscribed yet. Yeah, now. you okay. say that bit. Okay. I'll say the first bit, you say the second bit. Okay. Okay, so we're going to say... Are we going to stand apart and be socially distancing, or are we not? No, we, we should do this, like, so they know we're socially distancing. <laughs> are you... So, here we go. Are we ready? Is it taping? Good afternoon, Pro Golf Girls are at Bonnie Doon Golf Club this afternoon, social distancing. Today we're going to show you how to get out of a deep bunker and a shallow bunker. So we're going to give you the technique as well, so let's get on with it. Yes. Annie. Sorry, you're putting me off, I don't know what. You're going to do YouTube, now subscribe. <laughs> we're doing this. Ready? Pro Golf Gals are at Bonnie Doon Golf Club this afternoon. Today we're going to show you how to get out of a deep bunker and how to get out of a shallower bunker. And we're also going to give you some of the techniques to do that, simple techniques. Yes. Aim. Yes, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do so now. And uh, if... <laughs> <laughs> Did I put you off no, by bowing? No, I, didn't. Oh, dear. I think I put up because I normally start. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like finding it a bit. <laughs> okay, do you want to start Is it, it then? Right yeah, you start. All right. Okay, here we go. We'll get closer. Here we go. We certainly are, Annie, and we want to thank those who have subscribed to Pro Golf Gals. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Press the button below, and we've got many great videos coming. Thank you all for subscribing, and look forward to our new subscribers as well. Yes, that was much better. <laughs> <laughs> we went better that way. I don't know. <laughs> yep. So that they can see that. Does it look shallow?
You hit the stick then, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to start? Because you have trouble on the <laughs> You won't miss any new ones that way. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> We're getting so corny. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> I don't know when we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>